Hey, I owe you big time. You got me out of a lot of jams. Oh, it was always my pleasure. Now I'm gonna need you to do one for me. You got it. I need you to allow me access. You see uh, that nice little, you know that nice little area where um, it's not a big deal. It's just a, a keyhole with several other keyholes. Oh, the master switchboard for Avangarda Station. <laughs> <laughs> the reflex center of the brain, the one that can override in case of emergency so that we don't need to cognize. We can actually respond moment to moment and have a you know quick, uh, absolutely forceful response to life-threatening situations. They're good, very good. Yeah, you need that? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, under any normal circumstance, <laughs> this abdication of duty would go against every fiber of my being. But it's you! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I push Conrad towards the cops and I say, hey, look who I found! It's Stacy fake name and she's wanted! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! And wait, who do you point to as the you said? The, the wanted, wanted poster, poster. Oh, of Stacy fake name. Oh, of that. Uh... Conrad tries to smile like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see the shock troopers go, we got her. And then uh, uh, and they uh, say, Stacy fake name, you're under arrest. <laughs> and they arrest Conrad. Uh, uh, sirs, sirs, um, I would love to, uh, as as a representative of the Daily Observer, um, would it be possible for me to do a ride along so that I might be able to interview Miss Fake Name? And while we're here, you might as well take me too. And I take my hat off and take un undo the cloak that I had underneath my hat and Great. reveal <laughs> that um, I am a Melda Pulse. Uh, you see that one of them goes, "Are you a Melda Pulse?" That's right. I heard you're looking for me. Boss, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> we got a Melder Pulse too. Stacy fake name and a Melder Pulse all in one day. And uh, I say, don't worry, gentlemen, I'll take Dan Fox from here. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they go, how long have you been on the case of Dan Fox? Oh, I've been following Dan. I've been but ask anybody. I'm at Sugars all the time clocking <laughs> that guy. <laughs> wow. Hey, Hudge. We know you're a real PI. Congrats on putting down the fucks case. <laughs> An eight foot tall bleeding Broken gangster TV said, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I know <when> you shit <laughs> that you can forget who you are. And he went, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. There appears to be some ne'er do wells following our car. Mm. Is that something that's normal? Oh, you've noticed some ne'er do wells? Uh, yeah, there are ne'er do wells. Oh, okay. They're, well, what, they're what about people. them? What about the tourist struck you as being ne'er do wells? Um, <laughs> mostly that they are, you know, driving big black cars. It's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly not illegal, but it is definitely interesting, wouldn't you say? I guess sort of in a broad sense, you know? <laughs> I consider myself a bit of a bon vivant, so I guess a lot, you know, I try to find a lot of things interesting. I find it incredibly interesting because, you know, I have a nose for the news, and when you see all of these cars following behind us in a row, mm -hmm. doesn't that make you just a little bit curious? Go ahead and give me a slick check, difficulty of uh, eight. Oh, wait, so that is 25 plus two, 27. <laughs> That's a fucking How interesting roll. are these black cars? <laughs> That's my cousin. <laughs> something comes over the radio saying, Is this Patty Wagon number 14? I'm hearing something over the radio. This is why I always keep all the channels open. This is Deputy Chief of Staff Lance. I want to understand something. Is someone seeing something interesting down there? And you, uh, and you see the cop says, uh, Hey, yeah, this is... Uh, this is Officer Joie de Vivre. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a reporter here who's doing a ride along and she noticed there's some interesting cars and you see, get out of your vehicle now and kill everybody in every car on the road. Um, and you see, says, you got it. That's old Mr. Lance for you. All right, boys, let's pull over. Um, and you see that they begin to pull over. You rolled a 27. <laughs> <laughs> you beat God. a 10 by so much. <laughs> Uh, I've just signed so many death warrants. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you see the cops begin to begin to sort of these shock troops. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, uh, uh, Mr. Joie de Vivre. <laughs> no, Officer Joie de Vivre. Officer Joie de Vivre. My apologies, my apologies. If I could ask a simple favor from you, of course. You know what else I find really interesting? What's that? I love keys. Okay. <laughs> would it be possible for me to just, I'll, I'll give them right back after you're done murdering all of these people, but would it be possible for me to just take a look at your keys? I just find them so fascinating. The keys to the vehicle? 
<laughs> just say all of the keys that you have. You want my apartment keys? I'll take those as well. Okay. <laughs> and I'll have a champagne. <laughs> Uh, it says, here's the keys to my house, here's the keys to the vehicle, uh, here's my wallet. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll give those right back as soon as you're done with the pew pew. Hey, and if you don't, what an adventure that'll be. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic time. Say la vie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all of you in those cars, you're under arrest. And you see a gangster like leans out and says, for what? And he's like, you're gangsters. <laughs> and he's like, great, and see, she looks up. Oh, he, uh, <laughs> do you want to know facts about your bones? <laughs> okay. <laughs>